welcome to Haley's Place and today we're going to be doing some life hacks of how you're going to do things when you're bored and I hope you'll enjoy it. For the first life hack y'all will need conditioner, a mixing bowl, and a some mixing tool, and a um, baking powder. Cornstarch, sorry. Cornstarch. Do you want any cornstarch? Yeah. For the record, y'all can use any conditioner y'all want, but I am going to be using this one today. And it has worked for me before. And then just regular cornstarch. And I'm going to use this bowl, and I'm going to use a paintbrush for a mixing tool. First, y'all need to add in... that much but you'll be needing to add a little bit more at a time but you usually just want to start off with just a little bit at a time okay so there right there and just start mixing We'll probably have to do that at least three to four times or even more. Depends how much you're adding. One. Okay, I'm going to be adding at least two more. Doesn't matter if you make a mess because you're going to have to put some on the table for when you're done. And what we're making, are we're making Play-Doh. And it is so soft. So when you do this, when you do this, you want to, you don't want to add in the color after. But if you want to, you can because I'm, that's what I'm going to do because it's a lot easier. But when you just have the conditioner, you could add it. But when you start mixing in this stuff, you don't want to add it in. I am going to go in with my hand right now because it looks a little bit chunky. And so this is the point. Oh, it's still a little sticky. But this is the point where you want to take at least a half of this. Not a lot, but just like a tad bit. And then you want to sprinkle all over your table. If your parents do not let you do this, I would not suggest this. Just keep on doing it in there. But since my parents don't care, it is so fine. Just spread it around like that. And then you want to just pour it out. And then after you get like that doughy texture, then it is totally fine. You just want to kind of like fold it like that. It should have that like Play-Doh consistency. See, because mine is like still falling apart a little, so you want to bring it up in your hands to do that part. Don't add any more conditioner. If you have to, just restart this process because it will mess it up. I have tried that before. You um, 
it doesn't really matter how long you do it because some people are faster at kneading than other people. So all you really have to do is just like knead it until it looks like it's done. Or like when all the powder looks like it's cooked. Like mine's still falling apart, but like if you like let it stay out for a couple of minutes, when you add the color, it will like make it a little bit looser. You can add a marker, you can add paint, you can add whatever, like food dye. You can add whatever you want. But the easiest for me is paint or marker, but I like the marker better. So I'm going to be getting the marker. So you will be needing like a skinny, it doesn't really matter what type of Sharpie you want to do, but a Sharpie is the best to do. And this is so satisfying to do in. You can do whatever you want, but you can also add in more color. That doesn't really matter. Sorry that it's not focusing. There we go. Okay. And now you just need to knead it in. And it also won't get on your hands either. It might just a little, but you do want to pick it up. If it gets on your table, just use nail polish remover. It's falling apart. And if it's like falling apart like mine is, just like it's fine. It won't matter really. But I have added conditioner to it but like this before and then I had to add in more powder because then it was like too sticky to mess with but if you like add more into it and it like starts like just getting everywhere then just let it stay for a couple of minutes like three minutes out without touching it and then it will it will join back together and it will be like play-doh consistency so that's actually what i'm going to do to show y'all so i'm going to get this back out i'm going to get all that out scoot all that around okay got that back down in there i'm going to add some more condition I did say I have done this before and it messed it all up, but that's what I meant. Like, you have to leave it alone for a couple of minutes, and I didn't want to leave it alone. So, it got, like, everywhere. So, really, that's all you have to add for just, like, a... It will get gooey, trust me. No problem. It will get gooey. But you do want to pick it up if you can. One. That's what I meant. Like, it gets all over your hands. But I kind of like it like that. Like, all my slimes, even though this is out of the category, all my slimes are sticky because I don't add enough activator. And that's why I don't add enough activator. Because I like mine sticky and it's, like, because when it dries out, like, if you leave it out for a couple of minutes, it's not, like, automatically non-stretchable. And, like, when mine gets non-stretchable... I just add like moisturizer and since this like smells so good but like if if there's sign like if yours doesn't smell good you can just add essential oils to it but mine smells so good right now see mine's like a dough consistency now 
you just like have to mess with it it's so much fun and that and also you can like if you don't have like a mixing tool you like have and you have like a paintbrush all you really have to do is get the paintbrush and just add duct tape to it. That's really all you have to do. And it's so cool. It makes like your thing so cool. So that's what it will look like. And it's like real Play-Doh it feels like. Like you could prank someone with this. Saying, look, I got some Play-Doh. Make sure you give this a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel and if you have not already please um, put on those notification bells and I will let my friend do the next one. Hi I'm, Bri I'm Haley's friend Brianna and I will be doing spinner tops. He is some duct tape like you know how you have the little cardboard things with the duct tape? That's. Or little sheets of paper. Or little sheets of paper. A pencil. Cut in half. And some. A colored pencil will snap the best. And some tapes. Okay, so the colors I have chosen are this blue. And this purple. So what you'll need to do, you can start with whichever color you want and paint the little duct tape thing. You will have to do many layers. Mm-hmm. The way Haley's doing the camera working. So what me and Haley did is we glued the two duct tape pieces with paint and I'm painting this side blue and the other purple but you have to let them dry yeah if you can think of any great ideas that we should do in our next video comment down below what we should do mm -hmm. now we will let it dry for a few minutes tops 10 so me and Haley decided to not do the other side of the spinner because it would take too long and we just don't have time for it. Go. Okay, so the next step is to take some clear nail polish and put it on the end of your pencil so it does not mark all over the place. Now we let this dry with the with the spinner. So actually we decided to do the other side because we are that bored. Okay, so we realized that we had to put a clear polish on it. Okay guys, so we added some clear nail polish and now we're just smearing it around. And it looks so cool. Because we thought rubbing in the powder would get it off, it doesn't. Okay, so now we're going to take our little pencil and make a hole. And you don't really want to put it all the way through. And what you'll do is, so the stuff that we made, doesn't work out. So the things that we made, you can put it in the middle. And it will keep the pencil in.
or if you don't want to, if you didn't make the first step, then that's totally fine. We are cutting it now. It's really soft to cut. Mm hmm. Don't have to cut it that small, but that's just what we're going for. We are now testing it. We put some. Play those stuff on it. Three, two, one. It works a little. Here. I think it's because it's a little lopsided. So y'all, if y'all did add the stuff that y'all made, just make sure it dries a little. Ooh, it's falling apart. I'm going to try it. It's back Haley now. And I'm here. So, thank you all. Thank, if y'all watch this, thank you so much for watching this. And make sure to subscribe and like this video. And I really hope y'all try this out. Because it was so much fun to do. And see y'all later. Bye!